but we were oh no okay so um we'll be waiting for the rest of the groups to come in and we'll just continue with our class okay it's Seth here so number four now number five this is something new it says in IELTS speaking part two you'll be expected to speak uninterrupted on a topic uh, this test the presentation skills required to speak on a topic in an academic context okay so here we have discussion this questions briefly with other students so there are many questions here for you to speak with other students and you have to give turns. You won't do a presentation, but you're just gonna chat with your partners about all of this A and B, okay? Questions briefly with other students. So let me, again, let's make the groups. Once you have practiced in number five, we're gonna continue with yesterday's presentation, okay? So this is just to let go, but it is way. Of course, there will be, we have 50 participants. Okay. All right. Um, So I have groups of everything. I have two groups with three people. No, yeah, no. I who knows this idea? Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, please accept you have maybe five in a bit more minutes to speak to talk about all those points. Please accept. Accept, accept. Thank you. Uh, okay, Ms. Gabriela, Mr. Ruben, we are going to put it on the group. Okay, and Miss Gabriela, you are with. Okay, please accept and speak. Accept, accept. Daniela. Uh oh. Okay, Miss Carmen will be number one. Miss Allison will be number two. Please accept. If you're just joining, your partners will help you of what you have to do. Please, please. Please connect. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Ruben. Miss Mantina, Miss Daniela, have to join.
Again, we're working in groups, please. They will tell you where to go in groups. So please, they will tell you. Accept, and in your group, you will work together. It will help. Mr. Ruben, you have some problems, right? Okay, just just stay here, okay? I won't put you in a in a group. Okay, so please just stay here. But I'm analyze the answers, please. Do it by yourself because I'll be asking also. Mm -hmm. Let's wait for the rest. Okay, let's wait, please. We're asked to speak about all of those points. I'll be asking anybody. Okay. Um, second more. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's discuss this question, everybody. Yeah, everybody's here. Mr. Ruben, you were waiting. So the first question is for you. It says, planning your present day. Mm, uh, not A, don't worry about that. Uh, you can write notes, what kind of notes, then, 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 how should you begin, what do you need to write notes, what can you do if you, if you dry up. So I'm going to ask you some questions briefly of any topic. Yeah, you, all of you talked about this, but now it's the practice, right? So the topic, the main topic, Mr. Rubin, are you here, Mr. Rubin? Yes, yeah. Okay, Mr. Rubin, what do you think about um, 
junk food. What can you say about junk food? Are you, do you like it? You don't like it? Can you tell mm, us? So, so, miss. Okay. Um, because it's uh, dangerous, I think, uh, many of my families uh, have problems with, with that. And it's for that I, I, mm, I consume a so-so. Okay. You can see me so so. All right, very good. Mr. Roger, what do you think? I would like to know about um, if you were in, I don't know, in the news today, uh, there has been a fire in Santa Cruz, right? I don't know if you've heard. But if it was your situation, how would you react? What would be the first thing you could do in a fire? Let's knock on wood, never happened. But Mr. Roger, how would you react to a fire? Um, okay, Miss, I suppose the first thing I do, it would be think the people who are inside or in risk of, um, First, uh, I would ask help, and after I would put something in my face and start to help anyone who would be there. Because if I affect the damage, I won't be able to <laughs> help anyone. So I think, uh, I suppose things like do because if I get without any protection, the monoxide of carbon could affect me, and I would die and. I would be, uh, I don't be able, so I need to think very well what I'm going to do. I okay. suppose uh, one time I have, uh, I need to be prepared, I suppose, <laughs> organize my ideas, uh, obviously, uh, first or before this event happened, and but where this event happened, I will be ready. <laughs> I suppose think like that. Right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Marcy. Let Let's talk about handwriting. Do you prefer hey, Do you prefer to use a pen and a pencil? I mean, pen and paper, or use your computer to write. What are the advantages <laughs> and disadvantages? <laughs> It depends, means in my case, I prefer use the computer always, but uh, my eyes uh, don't, so, don't can, I can stand the brightness, the line, I think. Okay. Uh, but uh, in other ways, a uh, paper and uh, writing, high writing is uh, more flexible, I think. And uh, you, you, you make a uh, a lot of things, drawing and I make notes. And it depends. Because I, in my case, I computer, but uh, sometimes I need to do a <laughs> All right. Very good. You have to do it. Very good. Now, the last part. Because I'll be asking other people to participate. The last person right now is Ms. Jessica. Do you believe in cosmetic products, Ms. Jessica? Are you against or you are for any cosmetic product, creams, any type? What do you think? In cosmetic products, because I use some of them. Um, I think some of cosmetics are benefit because uh, for our health, and some of them not. And some people use uh, cosmetic products just pink, and is not necessarily for health or other things. 
just for vanity. Ooh, very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your. We'll be practicing like this. I'll, I'll because you're ready in the notes. You studied with your groups. You know that's that's uh, uh, you did all these points, right? So the 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 thoughts have to come fast. Any type of topic, any easy, hard, political, non-political, whatever. Now let's begin with Mr. Rogers. I mean, with Mr. Ruben's group. Who was working with uh, Ruben, please? Me, Miss Paola Chuk. Okay. So, Mr. Ruben and Miss Paola. That's it? Mm -hmm. Only the two of you? Me, Miss Yasira Chuk. Okay. All right. You can start. One second, teacher. Um, okay, Miss. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we we choose education, and there are some some factors that influence our, in our culture and, of course, in our society too. And I'm going to talk about family communication, progress and advance of our society, and respect religions and belief. You know, education is important at first to respect the other people, to respect their religion, their, their religions and beliefs, because it's important to respect the thinking of other, peop of other people. And of course, the progress and advance of our society is important too, because uh, you have to study a lot if you want to change your country, especially in a, in a good way. And when we are talking about family communication, it's important too, because this is, uh, this is relationate with respect their thinking. You have to love your family, your mother, your father, and your brothers, if you have sisters. <laughs> okay. And well, my classmates are continue. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey. Education, okay. Uh, I talk about uh, values and preserve tra traditions. Um, the education not only provides knowledge, it also enriches the culture and values. Uh, in many cases, culture is difficult to, to understand to the, to the characteristics it may have. Uh, that's why it needs to be studied. For example, in, in our country, for not having in-depth studies on dance, music and others, many countries take it as their own. Uh, the education helps costumes, reads, music, history to be studied. Oh, okay. Okay, teacher. Oh, about uh, values, uh, it's related to school and family education. And family education is the um, um, where the, the parents impart their their children, uh, their education. They are the, the main values that the children need in the future. Okay. And in school, uh, when the children enter an educational system uh, where they are taught uh, how to obtain, uh, develop critical and logic logical thinking mm -hmm. and make independent dec decision in the future. That's right, Miss. All right, thank you. Okay, teacher, I am going to continue with the politics, freedom of expression, and better opportunities. Mm 
Mm -hmm. uh, we know that the education and the cultures has a strong uh, relation because the culture determines the behavior of the students. Uh, in this sense, we can uh, talk about the politics. About the politics, uh, politics uh, we can uh, notice that the education uh, make an all criteria of the students. So it's important to form that the all criteria and the, the students decide that what is bad and what is uh, good for for him and for the society. So about the freedom of expressions, uh, and in the students we can form that all expression and that they can say whoever person uh, that he, their decision. So about better opportunities with education, the student of people um, have a good opportunities to good jobs or to know other cultures and good op better opportunities. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, Miss. All right. Okay. So I understood, and I think also you three. Uh, share the same thought of education that provides a lot of uh, this factors, right? All the three. All right, very good, thank you. Miss Catherine, what about your group? Where are you, Miss Catherine? Excuse me, I don't have a group. Oh, okay, you didn't work. You didn't come yesterday. Yes, Miss. Okay, no worries. Entonces, Miss Nicole. Yes, Miss. Um, with whom were you working with? Miss, sorry. Um, who were you working uh, with? Uh, with Roger and with. Tell my, I think. Okay. All right. You can start. Uh, okay. Um, we choose um, um, the, the festival the, as a cultural factor for Earl's people. And um, because, uh, well, at the first, uh, I think that. Um, uh, talking about um, uh, um talking about um, culture is not only a thing that um talking uh, it's not only uh, talking about festivals um cultures could include uh, could involve many things like uh, the family the traditions the education the religions and many other parameters too. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that uh, the festivals and uh, the cultural things are is a thing that um, uh, Bolivian people and uh, uh, people from Oruro um, are um, um, um it's like um i don't know how to say it's very it's very important and i don't think that we see uh tradition uh big and oh uh, sorry um oh well um talking about the the festivals uh in february we have the biggest carnival and this is a thing that people used to celebrate. Uh, people celebrate in February, and I think that it's not only in Bolivia that people ce celebrate the carnival. And other parts of the world, the Bolivians and especially or people from Oruro celebrate the um, celebrate the celebrate the carnival too at the same time that here. 
and and that's in, uh, that's important because we can see that um, uh, that uh, no matter how away you are from Oro, mm -hmm. and you are you you don't forget your culture. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, my my classmate Roger is going to continue this. Um, okay, Miss. Um, well, we are taking festivals as a cultural factor for rural people because people here are used to celebrate different things during the year, and uh, several dancers performing how their wishes will came true. And uh, respect to the influence that this have, uh, I suppose, is the economy activity generate around these fists. Uh, benefits and these benefits affect from musicians to, to artists and also we have to say that these have the opportunity to people who sells food or drinks here in the rural most of the people venerate catholic uh, characters mm -hmm. as for example uh, lord of lagunas or apostle santiago or maybe another to say thank you to Pachamama, but the biggest one is the Sakabon Virgin. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but this is the biggest because it's not only in Carnival celebrated, but also in Biso where teenagers can participate of this kind of activities and also university entrance. So uh, certainly there are controversial opinion about this if they do these activities, if for, for devotion mm -hmm. or just to have a good time. <laughs> However, what's not in doubt is that tradition is a important factor for our community. And that's the reason we selected this. Mm -hmm. Very good, okay. I don't know, Ms. Telma, if you're gonna say something. Each of, oh, okay, so she's she's typing. Although, a bit. Although not all Orurians like these festivals, Oruro is recognized for its carnival worldwide. Oruro is a traditional uh, department that people are very devoted and believes uh, and believers, which make the this is the festival very important. Yeah, all right. Okay, thank you, Ms. Emma. So Again, you saw mainly the, uh, the traditional part of, of Oruro. Yeah, all right. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, let's, let's continue. I know that yesterday not many, um, Marcia, you didn't come. Ivan is not here and Gabriela, she's not here either, Gabriela. Or is she a bit of a yeah, you're here. The three of you, o sea, serían un grupo de Miss Catherine, Mr. Marcio, uh, Ivan no está, no, Ivan Torrejo. Ah, sí, esa es Ivan. En Gabriela Vilca. Tomorrow you could make uh, this type of presentation. They did it of, uh, of this. Uh, page 112. This part. They did the presentation is just giving a presentation. And maybe all of the all of the not all the groups talked about the Oruro's tradition. Right, so I don't know, I don't know what you'll do. I don't know how you're going to organize, but for tomorrow you have to say something, okay? If you want a grade, get in on that. If not, we're just going to leave it like that, okay? Where's your mom? Okay, Miss. Uh, it's Catherine, Mario, Marcia, and myself. Miss Catherine. What? I. Entonces, aquí Gabriela Vilca. 
Ayer, pero tú has hablado. ¿Quién ha hablado? Ayer estaba. Ah. Estaba ocupado. No, sorry. Por eso, Miss, Miss Gabriela Villa, Miss Catherine, y Mr. Mark. Me hacen okay. something. I okay. don't know. When we come back, o sea, cuando entremos, you have to be ready to say something. Okay? Y los que no han venido siempre. Ni modo, zero. Punto. 